A 95-year-old World War II veteran is crossing the country on foot for the second time. Two months after he turned 90, Ernie Andrus wanted to do something special, a feat that people assumed at his age he couldn't complete. Over the course of two years and ten months, over 2,631 miles, he crossed the country on foot, running from California to Georgia. He finished in Aug. I. At age 95, the World War II veteran has decided to do it again. He celebrated the 4th of July with a slow run through the Florida panhandle town of Monticello. He's clocked one. Andrus expects ITLL take him five years to make his way from the Atlantic to the Pacific Ocean. He hopes to run 13 miles a week through grueling heat or freezing cold for as long as he can. It's an effort, he, as he runs, the Navy veteran is raising funds to sail a restored World War II tanker to Normandy for a D-Day anniversary, a feat that he says will cost millions. If Andrus served in the Navy's hospital corps during World War II, manning the sick bay on a landing ship tanker or LST in the Pacific Ocean. His position didn't, even when he was a young man, running served as a release for Andrus. When pangs of depression, when he and his shipmates caught wind that a mostly intact LST, the last of its kind, was docked off the coast of Crete, they set out to restore it to its former glory so it could serve as a memorial. Eh? The team spent months repairing the ship to resume full operation and set out to sail from Greece to Mobile, Alabama, but Andres was benched at his doctor's request. He hopped right back. USS LST 325 is open to tours at its home port of Evansville, Indiana, a former World War II shipyard. But Andrus saw her, so now he runs for fun and funds. He encourages his last trip raised $33,000, but he's hardly raised anything on this run. Luckily, he, Andrus runs Mondays, Thursdays, and Sundays, resting in between for an average of 4 miles each outing down from the 6-mile standard he maintained on his first trip. At 95, he wakes before the sun rises to beat the heat and find a shoulder along a paved road where he can run safely. He's trailed close. Some days, he runs undetected through town. But some cities like he takes whoever's in his crew that day out to breakfast after the run and then quickly dozes off in his motor home. Hell rest, it's a routine hell keep up as long as his body allows. I. He's determined to find out. He made his first national tour solo. This time around, putting down roots was the partial impetus for a second trip. He got bored of rut, so the two set out in a motor home to make the trek again. I. He's outlived three wives. His third wife died, but it's impossible to feel lonely now, he said. The friends he's made, theirs.